Good morning, and welcome to St. Dominic's Church. Thank you for joining us for this special YouTube broadcast Mass. Today is the second Sunday of Easter, and it is also the Feast of Divine Mercy. Please join in singing number 392 in your Catholic Book of Worship as you are able. That Easter day with joy was bright. Number 392. That Easter day with joy was bright, the sun shone out with fairer light. Alleluia, alleluia, when to their longing eyes restored, the glad apostles saw their Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Oh, 
First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They devoted themselves to the Apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayer. All came upon everyone, because many wonders and signs were being done by the Apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread in various houses and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people Day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be to God. God. Please join in singing the responsorial psalm. The words to the response are, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Give 
said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. After eight days, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered, My God and my God. Jesus said to them, Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, as you know, the second Sunday of Easter is known as Divine Mercy Sunday. There was this missionary and a little boy who were going around the town sharing spiritual flyers to people. Through this mission of distributing the spiritual flyers, these two touched many lives. And this they did it every Sunday without fail. But one Sunday, it was raining heavy and the missionary decided not to go distributing the flyers. And the flyer that he made for that particular week, which was captioned, Hold on, there is still hope. But this little boy did not bother the rain. Wearing a raincoat, you know, children, how they are. Wearing a raincoat, ran into the rain, excited, going from house to house, knocking the door, dropping the pliers. Finally, when he arrived at the last house with the last flyer, he knocked the door for about five minutes and there was no response. He thought he would go, but something said no. So he kept knocking the door and as he was about to give up, when an old woman opened the door, smiling at her, he gave the flyer, saying, this message is from God. He left the house and was deeply happy for he had achieved, accomplished his task 
for that Sunday. Next day in the church, there was this old woman giving testimony, saying she has been lonely couple of, for a couple of months after losing her husband and only son. Even though she came to the church, nobody paid attention to her mourning, her grief, her loss, her state of mind. She was indeed troubled and hopeless and lacked peace. And it was that Sunday she decided she would end it all by hanging herself. And it was that moment when she was all set to do that, to perform that final act. And there she hears somebody knocking on the door. She took some time thinking that the person would go, would go away. But the person kept knocking. She got down from the table where she climbed, where she was about to put that knot around her neck, went to the door, opened the door, and there she sees this little boy with a flyer, saying, this message is from God. She opened the flyer, it read, hold on, there is still hope. And she felt a kind of an inner peace within her. And she saw the reason to live and to be happy. And incidentally, this little boy and the missionary, they were present in the church and they were utterly speechless. Brothers and sisters, there are some moments in our lives when whole world seems to be crashing on our heads. It could be confused situation, a situation of confusion. It could be the fear of the unknown. And moreover, more severely, the absence of peace. And when we feel that a person is, when such a situation, when we find people are confused, you know, some people are, they are really confused utterly and they feel restless. Others, to be, find solace, they take it to some activities and that would end up aggravating and increasing their problems. On this Divine Mercy Sunday, brothers and sisters, we must remember and we must know the mercy, divine, the Jesus' resurrection is the highest expression of divine mercy. You see, Jesus appeared, the apostles say, Shalom, peace be with you. The peace Jesus offered to his apostles and that same peace which he is offering us, it is not something merely absence of war or conflict but harmony with God through the forgiveness of sins. Why? Because it is sin that destroys the interior peace. Sin that destroys the peace of home, the peace of communities, the peace of friendship, the peace of nation. Yes, it is sin that destroys. That is why Jesus empowered his apostles as peacemakers. You know, when you look around the world, one would certainly discover one of the problems that the world is facing today is 
disaffection and inattention to mercy to one another. You see the uprisings and the wars that are the end product of lack of peace and pardon and mercy, my dear brothers and sisters. Jesus, God sent his only son, not only to die for us, to cancel our debt, but Jesus died for us, canceled our debt, and granted us mercy and pardon. And on this day, no matter, as Jesus commissions his apostles saying, forgive the sins. That is to say, granting pardon. And this is a beautiful indication of the sacrament of penance in which we are forgiven and we are granted mercy and pardon. Yes, as we celebrate this Divine Mercy Sunday, brothers and sisters, let this Divine Mercy Sunday be a Sunday and opportunity showing mercy and pardon to others, especially those who have wronged us, those who are near and far off, knowing fully that God is forgiving and giving divine mercy, the giving is divine mercy. Let us cling on to him, for he is our strength, he is our hope, and he is our refuge. Divine mercy of Jesus, we trust in you. Let your presence before us, before our families, before our communities, and before our nation. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Our Blessed Mother, Mama Mary, intercede for us. Amen. Kindly stand and profess our faith.
that they may be illuminated by the risen Christ, for there is no other name by which we are saved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families and family life during these troublesome times, that the role of the family and its vocation to bring forth life may be properly appreciated and truly become a school of faith and values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of God, that we may heed the message of mercy and by the prayers of Saint Faustina, practice the works of mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, especially Dominic Ba, Tarsicio Dorasin, may God grant them eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pause for a moment and pray in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. Father, hear the prayers of your people. Give us what you have inspired us to ask you for in faith. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing our offertory hymn, which can be found on number 495 in your Catholic Book of Worship, We Walk by Faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Gracious words we hear of him who spoke as none ever spoke, but we believe him here. We know not touch his hands and side, nor follow where he trod, yet in his promise we rejoice. Our cause before him. 
He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The Lamb, once slain, will live forever. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every man, every people exult in the offerings. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chance and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples to say, take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Saints, 
we have pleased in all the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.